Hey guys, Mrs. D here, and I'm gonna show you how to make your pattern for your hot air balloon. So you're gonna go get a piece of paper from the library area, and just rip it off, and then you're gonna fold it like a hot dog. This is not your hot air balloon. This is only the pattern. The hot air balloon is gonna be made completely from tissue paper and glue sticks. So we're gonna fold it like a hot dog, and so like line it up in the middle and make a good crease. And you wanna make a good crease along here. Okay. And so the length of it should be at least five feet. So you wanna think about that as you're measuring. And so what you're gonna do is pick one under the other, it doesn't matter which. And we're gonna actually, as much as I hate this, we're gonna measure in inches. And so just grab a ruler, or this one's a meter stick, so that's why I have the measurements in inches. Um, and you're gonna start at the bottom where both pieces are there. So if you ripped it off bad, start down there. And so you're gonna start at zero, and you're gonna mark it every six inches up to 60 inches. So we're going to just go every six inches for five feet. These balloons are gonna be pretty big. This is the first step you wanna do because we're gonna use this pattern to make um, the panels for our balloon. So this is just the first step in doing this. And so once you do every six inches, and again, another thing is I'm marking on the fold side. So see how this side's the open side? This side's the fold side. I wanna mark and cut from the fold side, okay? So I've got, there's one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot, okay. So we've got 60 inches. Now you're gonna follow your sheet to see how far from the fold you measure out. And so you start at one, one end or the other, but just have your partner just follow along with you. And so you're gonna measure, like it says on your paper, um, at zero, an inch and a half from the side. So I'm just gonna mark, just put a little dot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Again, you can write all over this. This can be messy because this is your pattern. At six inches, we're gonna have three and five eighths. Okay, so you're gonna have to use your mad skills for measuring you guys. Then you're gonna have six and a half. And it's really hard as you're doing this, it's kind of hard to see the big picture until you're all done. But you're gonna have a full hot air balloon made out of um, tissue paper within just a day or two, okay? So keep, just follow the measurements on the paper and you'll see the paper and you're gonna get kind of a curve looking thing. And so you're just gonna keep dotting here. And at five. Let's see. Oops, I left one out. So see, it's okay to mess up. And then just write on there like, hey, I don't like that one. And so then we have eight. So I don't like this one. Six and a half. Okay, and again, you'll see this on your original sheet that has all of your measurements. Now, once you have all of your measurements done, you're gonna see a curve and it's just gonna make a natural curve. Don't try to like get all crazy and draw in perfect lines. It's better get somebody who feels pretty confident in drawing curves and just kind of connect them, but don't be like too choppy with it, okay? So you want a nice little curve here and you can always fix it as you cut it. So you're gonna have a curve that looks like this. Then what you're gonna do is grab a pair of scissors and just hang tight for one second. Let me grab a pair of scissors. Okay, so you're gonna grab a pair of scissors and now make sure you cut like the fold. We're not cutting the ends, we're cutting so the fold. And so you're gonna cut along that curve you just have drawn. And you wanna cut as neat as possible, but it doesn't have to be like 
perfect. Everyone's balloons may not be perfectly identical, but this is a great pattern for you guys to start with. So I'm just gonna cut right along here and I'll show you the final product of your pattern. So again, this is just the pattern piece. So you can mark all over this. We are not using this kind of paper for the balloon. I'm gonna give you a little suggestion. I'm gonna have you just cut a little bit extra on the bottom. Now the bottom is gonna be kind of like the big skinny part. Okay, notice how the bottom looks. This is the, this is the bottom of your balloon. This is gonna be the top. So then when we open it up, you're gonna have a panel that looks like this. And then we'll be ready to assemble and do the next pieces. Pattern, take the rest of this. You don't need the rest of this, but I'd appreciate it if you would recycle it. So just put the rest of the paper in the recycle bin. Write your name on this pattern. Don't get rid of this pattern until we're completely done with the balloon, just in case one of our panels mess up and you have the same pattern. All right, guys, that's step one.